Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you're going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It is lucky for you. Pala has only one hotel still working. Hey, look at it. I see something. You so much of fire. It's quite like a virus that thing. Brother, he's such a beautiful bummer. With a free candy. Hey, a rich man. A brush fire destroyed everything. And now he left the country. Yeah, he'll be back. This is Liberation Radio. Speaking the truth for the truth seekers. And the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scourge. The plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices, who knows? And what about some of the checkpoint is all on it? I mean, I'm from Zana. 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 Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel mm -hmm. in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir. The airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Yeah. On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yep. Yeah? Beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Nowadays. It's okay, they keep to themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you, just boys living off steel, right? You remember how you.
Everyone's trying to find a way out of the country. Only fools stay now. Hey, <laughs> fools and cab drivers. So good. You tired? Target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing, and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. It's simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Again, a truck. They got you pretty good there. Good candidate for an infection.
I'm pure for and you, my friend, are a problem. What outfit are you with? Should have mind your own business at the hotel. You got one of my boys killed, you know. Tell you what, how about you do some work for me now? Get on out here. Get yourself kitted out. We got ammo and meds, long rifle, pistol, whatever. All right, listen up, Slick. The shit really hit the fan back in town. There's supposed to be a ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work with a local guy named Kowassi, street muscle with the APR. I've got my best men out there in the field trying to keep the UFLL from bushwhacking their way across my zone. I guess that makes you the B team, son. First play of the day, I need you to get that rust bucket two-door outside back on the road. You take shop class, go out there and see if you can get that engine started. You know you're sick, right? Don't screw around up there. You can't afford to. That malaria's killed stronger men than you. Open up. <laughs> 